We need to convince someone to join us for the hunt, but um, it seems we this is going to be a day of preparation. <coughs> so I'm gonna focus on the troll for now. Right. It's very good for oh. two hunts in one day. Troll in the morning, not disqualify you from the other one. In case something bad happens. Hmm. Best to secure the one that gives payment. The works, other one should probably if you have, If you have the time, stop by the area Godric will get Ingram and you and your hunters can have a look. But for now, it's Jesse Rest. Get yourself fed. Make sure you're definitely keen for this, so you to know what's going on. If we can keep this appraised, if we can keep ourselves appraised what's going on, we can deal with it. Good cat. <coughs> I know, right? On way out, and that's never a good thing. Should also probably make what do you think this was? Here. It's big. Don't it's huge. The farmlands. Tell them to keep an eye on the no, it it's definitely not a dolphin. <coughs> Some kind of bird. I'll keep it in mind, boss. Thank you. Right. What the fuck is an emu? Oh, in case of the meaning. Hmm. If I'm not busy, I could. You think it was a cat? <coughs> you think it was a cat? It would probably be the evening. It doesn't look like a cat I'll skull. I can rouse Ingram shortly so he can at least know your face and then go from there. If you want to take up the other letter, uh, what even is half of this stuff? Let that happen. Allow Ingram to know who he's working with. I, we do have a contract no. that he can work with them so he can get the lay of the land. So when he's able, let him know to join them. Right. Unicorn Hall? Right. I'm gonna go see if I can wake him up. If you wish to accompany or wait here, either way. No. Not? You don't believe me? Well, someone is a non-believer, it seems. That's fine. Don't let your imagination run wild. You're so grounded in reality. Anyone ever told you that? There you are. You have no imagination whatsoever. <coughs> don't have that talk. I think it may be best because I don't know when Tizim will show up. Yeah. You guard the forge. If anyone shows up, shank him. Don't actually. <clears throat> Forgive me, I'm gonna sit down. Ooh. I'm much the same lot. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Leveling Nautus. I went to go and speak with Amem and Kovas to determine why they had chosen not to send word to me about one of my own. Why they had chosen not to <coughs> speak with me about his incarceration and instead leave me lost to the wind. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, I was not very happy at the time. So I went to the gate, where instead of meeting with Amem, I met with Kovas. His guards, or at least the guards, stopped me from going in, from venturing in to see Amem. Claimed he was busy. They wouldn't let me pass at all until Kovas came from behind them and reprimanded them. I could have taken it further, but I chose not to, as my thoughts were elsewhere. I spoke with Kovas about the incarceration of one of my own, taken in by the Imperials, held at gunpoint. He was furious. Said that Ingram had not been delivered to the dungeon as had been said. Instead, it appears the Imperials took them back to the warehouse, had him caged like a dog and fed him seawater. So, I'm less than amused with the Imperials <coughs> right now. Mm -hmm. But the main thing was that Kovas helped me get Ingram back, so I'm now indebted to him. However, the way he did so was... showy. He made a show of taking the guards with him and 
marching down to the docks and confronting the gunnery sergeant in charge of the docks. The gunnery sergeant they raised his hands as if in surrender, but I know that Mark kind of made <coughs> that signal. He was ready to command the ships behind him to blast Notice. Both vessels. Their gun ports are already aimed. That's a bit overkill, isn't it? More so that he threatened one of the lords to his face. Luckily, the gunnery sergeant stood down, gave me Ingram, and then decided to be mouthy about him having the right to hold my kin to imperial law and not to the law of Gradia. I reminded him that this is not Theosia. And I'll be having words with a mem as he claimed that he spoke on behalf of a mem, that he was acting under the orders of Baron a mem. <laughs> this lordling <coughs> is going to be having a little. This lordling is going to be getting a quick wake up from me. I've already sent word to the keep that I'll be speaking with both Kovas and a mem whenever they are available. I'm expecting a summons at some point throughout the day. Problem is, that I know for a fact that the talk I'm going to have with a mem is going to be volatile. Mm. And should his Imperial Major be in attendance as well, I'll be grilling them both. It's one thing to insult me, it's another to threaten me and my kin. This is not something I take lightly. And as a Reckoner and as a Clan Thane, clan leader if I do not satisfy this I'll take it to the Baroness and I will force it to be handled <clears throat> sounds like this was a big blunder by the Imperial side we could play on that Sounds like one of the Imperials overstepped and arrested one of my men on suspicion of theft due to their beliefs. Punish him for Ingram it. Ingram had no part in it. The Empire doesn't normally Ingram strip up like no this. Ingram had no part in it and they wanted him punished. They wanted him to suffer. And I'm not going to allow that. I've also told my Dawid to keep an eye on those docks, but they're not to set foot on those docks without my knowledge. If I find these thieves, they will be made to pay. Mm. No one threatens my dowie. No one. The Empire doesn't normally decide... uh, make mistakes like this. If we're going to punish them on it, this would be the time. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm concerned about. The gunnery sergeant was, in fact, very patient. They could have shot Ingram instead. That's what they were ordered to do. Mm. I could have had a dead Dowie, and then it could have been a whole lot worse. I am choosing to allow both a mem and this major to speak. Instead of taking this straight to the Baroness. We still have to deal with a deal that they want us to make. This robber baron that they want Vesseran to deal with. That's why I was looking for Vesseran. I wanted him to know that he always didn't have a notice to come back to. I fought the Imperials before, lads. This is not my first. I've seen what they do what they can do, and I recognize that hand signal. All it would have taken was for him to lower his hand in the docks, along with all of the houses in the immediate vicinity, possibly even the keep walls, would have been blasted to smithereens. They've got Snotus by the scruff of its neck, and the one area that its walls cannot save it. 
there are no walls against the ocean. And they have, I believe it was 26 pairs, so <coughs> 40, no, 52 guns. Yep. Pointed in this direction at any one time. How do we counter that? <laughs> we don't. We try to handle this as best we can. And I'm going to make a mem aware that his Imperial advisors held the town hostage under his watch. Given his disdain for such actions, I'm fairly certain that will at least get a reaction, if nothing else. I don't believe he was entirely informed of this. I'm not entirely sure the Major is aware of this either. Any discourse between uh, the Imperial would be good for us. I also have to speak with Kovas. I have to thank him for helping me with my kin. I am now indebted to him. So I now have a second set of invisible chains. I have to appease the Imperials as best I can while also keeping the Lord Kovas happy because he is now owed a favour from us. These games are getting old, and I don't want to be part of either side. I'm trying to remain as neutral as I can, but it seems they are intent on making me choose a side. So it may come to a point where I force my hand and speak with the Baroness and show them that I am not one to stand down. I definitely know exactly who they're dealing though. with. Exactly, which is why I don't want to do it. I don't know what these talks are going to consist of, lad. I want you to talk to Tazim about it so that I don't... ...cause more of a scene. <clears throat> but it's best for you to know this as well, seeing as you yourself are a young lordling in and of yourself. <laughs> You're going to have to deal with things like this yourself at some point. Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> Better for you to get some experience while you're away than have to be blindsided by it when you get there eventually. I suppose so. I have to handle this with tact. But I also have to make them aware that I am not some weak noble that they can step all over. I represent not only myself, not only my clan, but Vern Fuldur and its interests. As a thane of Vern Fuldur, I speak in it on behalf of my king. Any insult to me is practically a slap to the face of my king. I have to also uphold the picture of a thane. I cannot look weak so that it does not besmirch the honour of Vern Fuldur and its king. I must, I must act in accordance to that. So I need to delicately balance all of this. Which is why I'd hoped that I'd be able to talk with both you and Dazeem. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't have uh, you the, the wisdom. <laughs> Aye. No, you're fine, lad. This is something you need to understand as well, because you'd have to deal with certain things as well. The reason I wanted to seem to be here is because he knows the Imperials and he knows how they act. I don't want my threat to be taken... I don't want them to see this as a blatant threat to them. Because if I do, then they'll react and it won't be positive. But I do also have to threaten them so they understand that I am not weak. I'm not <clears throat> someone that will just 
stand aside and take what they want. My kindness will not be taken for weakness. If you see to see me, I am not available. Let him know what I've told you. Let him know that he has 52 cannons pointed at his doorstep at any time. And that one gunnery sergeant is all it takes for it to go up in flames. <clears throat> Great. I'll let him know. <sighs> oh, thanks for talking to me. I'll, uh... I'm sorry to drop this on you. It's part of it, I guess. Sorry for dropping it on your lad, but... It is what it is, and I can't help it now. They've made their bed, now they need to lie in it. And I need to handle it as best I can. <clears throat> well, I wish you luck. I have to give credit to the gunnery sergeant as well as I am to say it. Despite his attitude towards me, he was a... So perhaps I can use that as leverage in the mail, the mail, the major. Just in case things Kelly? don't happen to go your way. I did um, another thing this morning. I got now three hererographs, three cameras, and let's see here. Humans are easy to pedal. trick, but they okay, And of course, I have that night so much. and one moon sea show. I need to actually start right. I know. Oh, they're looking at you now. Now they're looking away. Now they're looking at you. You have something more pressing. Jokes aside, you do what you need to do. I'll do what I need to do. I, 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 it's your fault that you pushed me! <sighs> of course, it's always I, my fault. I, sir! 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 This when young you... lady is rude! She pushed me over when I was walking! Holy shit, I don't care. <laughs> then I don't care about you! 
What'd you fucking say to me? I don't care about you! Just like you don't care about me! <laughs> okay, I remembered it. Remembering what you look like. <clears throat> Fucking door to you. I'm gonna, like, sit, lay for a little bit, chat. <clears throat> How long have we been live? <laughs> How long has the session been, I should ask? <clears throat> Two hours. <clears throat> Fuck. Really? It's so weird with the... Sessions about one. Fuck. It's so weird with daylight savings now. <clears throat> Since I have to get up like an hour earlier, everything's like pushed back for me. <laughs> it feels so off. <laughs> Call it early. 
I'm thinking about just the, the, the YouTube video, the YouTube VOD. Because... If I cut this down to just the episode, it's going to be like one hour. <laughs> which is like one video, one episode, which I guess would catch up, I suppose. <coughs> We can have some lamenting, Kyle lamenting, filler up. <coughs> He's just gonna think about his past a bit. <sighs> I'll tell you what. It's been like three weeks since I applied for Twitch Partner, and they haven't come back to me yet. They said it can take up to two weeks. <coughs> Which is frustrating because I want to know, because I want to be able to do my regular streams. <laughs> And then I've seen like other people in the meantime have like applied and like heard back within like three days and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, Morgrim ghost. Yeah, that was something. How does Kyla feel about that? I don't know, it's bittersweet, like God was saying. Got lost in the mail. It sucks because I can't apply again <laughs> until this one's been resolved. So it's like, what? I probably won't get it anyway. Twitch can just decide to not give it to you. They can pick any reason, really. <clears throat> I was worried because I did that D and D stream, and my numbers were shit. I'm like, oh no, they're gonna look at it and be like, you're not consistent enough. <laughs> With some of Kyle's personal goals. <clears throat> uh, currently, he wants to build his info network. Um, keep on top of that. He wants to... You know. Because the whole thing for him is that all the other times... <clears throat> in, like, Ledford and Adwick... They were kind of, like, dealing with shit as they popped up. The whole point of him doing this information network thing is to try and... Um, get ahead of things, you know, at least see them coming, <coughs> so they aren't completely surprised. Um, he wants, his, his main goal obviously is to go to Giwen and become a lordling. <coughs> um, yeah. How's Kyle feel about the idea of melting down the sword? <coughs> oh, he talked about it. You know, his his whole thing is like, this is my link to Morgrim, and if I'm gonna be a lordling, if I'm gonna be, you know, this, if I'm gonna fill these shoes that I'm gonna have to fill, if I'm gonna have to fight, if I'm gonna have to retake Gwyn, I want Morgrim to be at my side, rather than collecting dust in a room. So he's gonna reforge the sword into, hopefully, an air stock. That's the plan. <coughs> Does Kyle have any plans for Lordling stuff? It depends on the, the situation, I guess. And if he makes it that far. I think it would be cool, like... It's in character for him to... To do all the Lordling stuff, but like... 
Kyle is always going to be Kyle. He's always going to solve things differently with, like, you know, sneakiness. <clears throat> so I like the idea of him, like, having, like, a, you know, maybe, like, a, a, a regiment of his army that only attacks at night or something like that, you know, like, night-trained soldiers. Or, um have like spies and all the other lord lords keeps and shit like that you know that's uh, how he would run it <clears throat> but again he has to live that long <laughs> night nights yes <laughs> Sounds cool as hell. Yeah, I mean, because you, you want to... You want to see him in that sort of final stage of Kyla. Again, assuming he doesn't die. Um, but you still want him to be Kyla. <coughs> Oof, that one rumbled the chest. Um, <coughs> so, I don't want him just to become like a mini Arn, you know? You, you still want him to have those... Um, tendencies and the it's problem solving and, and all that sort of stuff <clears throat> Kyla rolls with a squad of fucking Nazgul <clears throat> yeah I mean he wants he wants the uh, he wants like Arn's virtues and stuff he wants to be a lord that people like. He doesn't want to rule through fear. He wants to do right by Arn, you know. <clears throat> Look out for the common person and be kind and be just and noble and honorable and wise and all that shit. But he also, you know, he's Kyla at heart. He looks strange dressed up, you know. He doesn't wear plate armor. He doesn't, he probably wouldn't wear a crown or anything like that. <clears throat> you know. Probably wear fuck all jewelry. Is he? He'll his first thing when problem pops up is you know how can we solve this you know stealthily or subtly kind of thing. That's the those those are the virtues that are true to him you know, <clears throat> so he can be influenced by Arn a lot but. wear half plate probably not it's, it's he's not gonna wear plate and i see these comments on like youtube videos be like i could see him with a two-handed sword and blah i'm like no that's not kylo <clears throat> i beg your pardon have you been tended to <sighs> not yet <laughs> I'm just, uh, relaxing for now. No massage, no spa treatments? Mm-mm. I'm sick. I don't want to get anyone else sick. Suit yourself? <laughs> it's very kind of you, though. Thank you. And I need only ask. Mm-hmm. With proper armor. I'm, I'm working on a thing. I'm, I'm kind of upset that Torty hasn't finished um, his leather because I made it like <coughs> quite lordlingy. It's it's very much stepping out of Kyla's comfort zone. Some other side weapons you think will suit Kyla? I mean, he's fine with what he's got, you know, short sword, S stock. 
dagger, throwing knife. That's, I mean, that's a lot of weapons. <coughs> he doesn't need to be fucking, he doesn't need to be an arsenal. He doesn't need to be loaded to the fucking brim. You know? I don't like doing the whole jack of all trades with weapons kind of thing. I like the idea that they have kind of like a signature weapon that suits. <coughs> Half cape, yeah, I think that's as far as he'd go. For the look of S1 or S2 leather more. I like S2 leather. <coughs> Can I know Master coming from his past? I mean, if he's in fucking Giwen, no. <laughs> He's a lord, they're not gonna fucking, you know, fucking dread knives aren't gonna assassinate a lord. <clears throat> That's way too high profile for them. We can't be able to consistently lead men anytime soon. Well, what do you mean by that? Like, have the opportunity? Yeah, maybe. In character? Yeah, I mean, he's... <clears throat> we saw him at the end of, like, in the middle of season two. He was, like, directing orders and shit like that. In the finale, he was, you know, taking command of the back lines, basically, <clears throat> which nearly got him killed because dwarves didn't retreat or well, move backwards. Um, no, you can, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I like S S two leather more. S one fits. Um, it really fit the style because it's kind of like it it was very much like a peasant has got some leather armor kind of thing you know it looked kind of ragtag and you know s2 it was more um i'm a i'm you know trying to be more regal and so it's more fitted it suit you know all that stuff and this, this armor that I've got now is, oof, you guys are going to fucking love it. <clears throat> this one was Drow Slave Armor. Yeah. It was, well, it was something akin to it. <clears throat> because Kyla saw it in a book and had the leather worker make it, like, simile, similarly. So I had this, the style of it. You want to see S3? S3 is great. If you guys can get Doherty to hurry up. Because <clears throat> I thought it was going to be done today, but... Do you think Harley would do very nice to do more bow training? Yeah, the bow's nice because... <clears throat> so many times when we were in missions... We would just have so many enemies at range, you know? With like crossbows or bows or stuff like that, that we just, they were in positions that we couldn't get to. So. <coughs> uh, fuck. Ow. Oh. Um. So I, my whole thing for it was that he could just kind of. Fuck. <coughs> ah, fuck. That he could at least uh, suppress them. He didn't need it necessarily like, oh, what the fuck? <coughs> uh. <coughs> he didn't necessarily need to be a good shot and hit them. He just needed to be able to shoot back at them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You have a rage or laugh with Tony's. Is she still following the fucking cat? <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Yes. Fuck's sake. <clears throat> Is Brun still the cat? <clears throat> I 
<coughs> well, <laughs> filler episode. He's having fun. Good. <clears throat> I'm glad he's having fun. Runs was explaining to me he's a little frustrated with, um... He wants to do more with FT, <clears throat> but there's, like, time constraints and stuff now. And he's basically stretched so thin between all his modules and stuff, so I'm glad he's having fun. Callista, hello. <clears throat> the trebuchet? Wasn't it a ballista? <clears throat> Man, I f it feels so long ago since S1, holy shit. So much has changed. She must have been following that fucking cat for like 40 minutes. <laughs> Split splash, I was taking a bath. Bo -bo -bo. Bo -bo -bo -bo. <laughs> <clears throat> How you doing, Shinny? You all right? How you doing? Yeah, I just sneezed like four times in a row, and my nose is so blocked. <sighs> it's good to be in the bath with you. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. This is totally a figment of the imagination, but how are you doing, Kyla? I missed you. You doing all right? Yeah, it's good to see you. I missed you too. It's <clears> wild. <throat> you know, the elves, they smell. But Not they... in a good way. Ew. It's weird. It's like it's too much of good. Oh, really? It's like a lot of lettuce and stuff. Yeah, it's very odiferous. Yeah, right. I don't know what that word means. Uh, fragrant. Oh, I see. Like when you walk into Smelly. those uh, stores that sell like crystals and shit, and they just have like constant incense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know what you're doing. I do about. like some incense, though. I should consider it, getting some. Especially have, for the next time I hump your sir. I have. Okay. I have scented candles. Those are pretty good, actually. They just really take the edge off the room, you know? Make it more mellow. Ah. Uh, <sighs> I, you know I do that, right? I plow your ant. It's true. <laughs> really, I I didn't know up until now. <laughs> I it happens. It's strange. At least her twice around. a day. At least, wow. <clears throat> you have more stamina than I. Uncle. It was worse when I threw out my back. It was only one time. No, that that poor woman. <laughs> poor woman. Poor me. Poor you. <laughs> she got a wrist. I'm constantly pawing at her. Oh, yeah. It's strange not seeing her around. Why? It is strange. Have I ever shown you my bathhouse attire? No. Oh, this is great. I'm ready. Oh, this is, this is good. Yeah, I'll <coughs> the room. This will be perfect. Yeah. Someone's going to come in in character, and I'm going to have to tell them this is all exactly <laughs> I just need the hood. <laughs> and this. <laughs> He's <g> <laughs> almost, almost ready. <laughs> You're giggling oh, to yourself. A fine day for the oh, amazing. <laughs> You're wearing boots. <laughs> That's amazing. To join you in the waters, lad. Oh my god. <clears throat> the next time I pull out this model, I'm gonna look like this. Yay! <laughs> now am I your uncle or what? You're the bestest uncle ever. You know what? Just for that, here's a copper you found. Yeah, oh, Run. in the bath? Wow, someone lost a copper. <laughs> Actual DM copper, that's real. Yay! I'll add it to the sheet. <laughs> See you later, son. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you, you shitty. You. 
No, but actually, one of my favorite features of this avatar before <coughs> coming home, Yos is there. Yeah. <laughs> the best. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what a treat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love shitty. Shitty's great. Oh, my cheeks hurt from smiling now. <laughs> I I was actually thinking about this the other day. Um, I remember when Shinny first started DMing, <clears throat> and I remember just how like hyped up I would get because they were just like so good at describing things and like hitting the character perfectly and just oh man it just got me so hyped <clears throat> and now look at them <clears throat> she needs great they're like so nice to me as well. <laughs> Which I don't understand because I'm an asshole. <laughs> oh, fuck. But you're doing well. <clears throat> Three years ago, it's too stormy. I mean, it's hills and valleys, isn't it, Marchi? You know. There was a period there where things were really terrible. But like, <clears throat> you know. Surrounding myself with good people and like moving out of my old house has definitely helped a lot of things, you know. Like the freedom that I have now is just really good. I'm still dealing with a lot <clears throat> behind the scenes that I don't really talk about publicly. <laughs> But it's I'm definitely in a better place than I was like, you know, a year or two ago. <laughs> I love when Shitty DMs and stuff with his food because they always make me so good. Dude! Oh man, season two, Shitty talking about all the food that Huskull had cooked up. I just, oh man. I, that always made me so hungry. Like, I could have been full. And when they started talking, oh man. <laughs> we need like a best of shinny compilation or something. <clears throat> I should probably get out of the bathhouse. Oh yeah, the drugs are definitely wearing off. I just want to say, yeah, like, on what Mudge was saying, I just want to thank you guys, like, for sticking around. And the people that, like, watch my streams. Even the FT, well, the non-FT streams. I do appreciate it. Because, you know. You guys have, like... Just who I was looking for. I, I clicked the wrong button and now it's not working. <laughs> How could I help you, Sif? <clears throat> uh, Tazim said he was working on a surprise for me. And apparently there's a troll hunt tomorrow, so I'm wondering if he's done with it. It's such a surprise, I don't know what it is. So you'd have to talk to him about it. This oh. is definitely not on my sheet. Okay, I'll see. <laughs> I'll see about talking to Tazim. <coughs> uh huh. If I can drag him out of that house. Yep. How are you? Good, actually. Now that I have something to look forward to tomorrow, and yourself. You gotta kill a troll. I'm sick. Oh, I see. 
<coughs> Try to kill a troll. <sighs> Bless you. Have you killed a troll before? <sighs> yeah. I've also scared away a frost giant. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Have you? You scared away a frost giant? No. Dead. No, kill the troll. I don't think so. Ah. Have you spoken to Olen about the sickness? Perhaps she has something for you. I talked to Soba and Soba said I should eat soup and sit in the bathtub and I've just done sitting in the bathtub and it's getting worse because my IRL beds are wearing off so now my nose is runny. <coughs> Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Kyler. I'm gonna stick around for like another hour or so and then I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> and let me let me help you with that. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Man, now your nose is clear. Have you Make sure to get so enough rest then. Have you seen Torty? I have not. Yeah, you know, the last time I saw her, she was following a cat out of the town. <laughs> And from what my brain is telling I'm me, she's still doing that. That was 40 minutes ago. I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll I'll be go... fine. <coughs> I would say I'll go see if I can find her, but yeah, that's that's a long... That's, it's, that's yeah. a lot of ground to cover. What's worse is, you know, the god of Wick. The god of Wick was the cat yeah, yeah, leading I... them to the middle of nowhere. It... So, yeah, I heard. Yeah, okay. <coughs> but Zim's a little busy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's having fun though, so. Yeah, that's what he needs. <sighs> well, go get soup. Yes. And go rest. Good soup. Thank you, Sif. Don't Cif. you dare cough on me. Nope. <laughs> <coughs> This one's a banger. You eyeballing me? <laughs> Run along, little doggy. Run along. He's covered in sand and weeds. <laughs> what have you done to yourself? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, chat, give it to me straight. Is she still following the fucking cat? <laughs> Out of curiosity, is to see him around. Okay. Are you okay? I'm sick. <coughs> um. Um. Are you busy? No. Can we go to your place to talk about something real quickly? Sure. Well, the long beard don't control us all. Maybe you should remember that. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'll be the same. A dwarf without allegiance. Now, this is rare. It's almost as rare as. Outside, <coughs> the cow ate part of my beard. You know 
what that means for me. Hunger. Um, the reason I wanted to ask for Arn is, um, we found the troll out in the forest. Yeah, it's all everyone's fucking talking and... about. <coughs> yeah. I know I'm not smart enough to be able to come up with a good plan. I was hoping to rely on someone who might know more about fighting the trolls. Either yourself or Arn, I'm sure, have fought more than just, like, the almost none that I've dealt with. Well, so, apparently, I was hoping to rely on one of you to... a whole hunt is happening tomorrow. <coughs> Sif's involved, and Sif has yeah. killed trolls before, so maybe bring it up with okay. her. She's I probably just... the expert. <coughs> okay. I want to at least reach out to you guys, see if there was something y'all could give advice on or something like that before I. Reach grasping at straws. Possibly talk to Sip about it, but yeah, I wanted to. Just don't let him grab you and rip you least. in half, because that is not good. Yeah, that's why I prefer range stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm concerned that if there's one out there, then others might appear. So <clears throat> I'm glad that you were able to hear about it. I just wanted to make sure it was relayed to you guys. So y'all would be able to respond appropriately should worse come to worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Raven. Do you want me to send some of your way? <coughs> He's already so talked to me. It's can... just going to drink soup and eat bathtub. Eat bathtub? S sit in bathtub. Oh, said in bathtub. I heard eat bathtub, and I, I was think I really did say that though, actually. <clears throat> it's okay. I didn't eat the bathtub. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> 